um, my tutorial on how I did this design straight in Canva. So first thing, um, if you guys have been following on my Instagram page, then you guys know where I stress about getting free stock photos from. I get them from a website called Pexels.com. Little small fun fact, Canva actually owns Pexels. So some images you might see on Pexels that you also see on Canva and vice versa. But today I'm just going to jump right into how I designed this cute and simple flyer. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my Canvas homepage. I'm going to go over to create a design and I'm going to click on Instagram post, which is 10, which is 10, I mean, sorry, which is 1080 pixels by 1080 pixels. And I'm just going to get, this is my standard square on what I use. Now everybody use, um, some different stuff. Some people might use 2000 by 2000. Some people might use a new Instagram size, but me, I'm going to keep it at 1080 by 1080 pixels. So first thing is I like to always change my background color to a color that I think will suit the photos that I'm using. Since I already know what I'm designing, I'm going to go ahead and change it to a back, a black background. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my uploads and I'm going to find my photos. And, and for that case, I use this particular photo. Now to add it to the background without having to stretch it um, and anything else, you're just going to go ahead and right click it and click on replace background and it automatically goes straight to the background with one easy click. So what I like to do is I like to double click on it and then I just like to move it up and down depending on what I want to be shown and what I don't want to be shown. So I want to show more of her. So I'm going to move it up a little bit and then here. Now I'm going to go over to where it says elements and then I'm going to type in overlay. So basically overlay is just sort of like a texture that you can put over your designs. And I just like to use the second one and then I just go ahead and make it um, the big size. Now, for when I'm adding a different type of element over the background, I don't right click it because if I do, it's going to replace the background. But here you're going to see that when you click off of it, it goes ahead and moves the background. All I do is I just click on the undo button and it's back to being exactly how it was. So then I'm going to go over to my elements. And then I'm going to scroll down to where it says frames and I'm going to click on see all. And these are the three little things that I used in the middle to put her photos on. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in Polaroid frame. And then I'm just going to scroll to see which one I like. And I believe it was this one that I had gotten. So once you have that, you're just going to go ahead and move it and then size it down to however you want it to be sized. I think I want to do this size and just duplicate it and then tilt it to how you think it should be tilted. I'm going to duplicate it, put it here. So now I'm going to just take my mouse, I'm going to left click and I'm going to select everything and then just size it down. Once I do that, I'm just going to go ahead and move it around some more. And just tilt it and put it here. So then once I have it how I think I would want it, I'm just going to go ahead and play around with it some more just to get it to my exact liking. Um, within terms of the spacing, I'm think I'm gonna tilt this one over. And a little fun fact um, about Canva, you can now tilt it without having to go ahead and click on the rotating um, circle. So if you click on your element, and you click on position, you come up here to where it says arrange, and you click on rotate, and you can rotate it with numbers instead of actually trying to go ahead and turn it. Cause sometimes our stuff comes out a little bit crooked and we don't like crooked stuff over here. So we're just gonna go ahead and tilt it to our liking. And I think for some reason they look a little uneven, but that's all right. So I now I'm gonna click on the first element. I'm gonna click on position. I'm gonna go to my layer, layers. <laughs> Sorry, my layers panel. And I'm just going to put that over that. All right, so now that I got that, I'm going to go back to my uploads. And now we're just going to add in our pictures. And I love frames because it makes it so much easier to add in your 
um, photos. So now I'm going to get take the photo and once you hover it over, you should see it kind of like a preview of it that will show you that your design or your photo, I should say, is going to be placed inside. So once you have that, now we're just going to go ahead and add the next photo in. I'm going to double click it and just bring it down a little bit because like I said, I want to see her face more. And then get the last photo and we're going to add it right here. So now that we have that, I'm going to go back over to my elements and I'm going to type in washi tape. So basically what washi tape is, is the little tape thingy that you've seen above it. And I'm just going to get one that I can change the color. And then I'm going to change the color to black and size it down to my liking. And then I got it there. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it. And I'm, oopsie, I'm going to go ahead and add that one there, duplicate this, and add this here. And boom, then I have it here. So now, once I have it, one of the famous things that people ask me all the time is how did I get those the Scorpio season to be like that so you can have an outline within Canva um, with one easy click but since I have a double outline there's a different method that I have to do so I'm going to click on um, duplicate page and I'm just going to type in my text which is Scorpio season all right so once I have it, I'm going to go ahead and find my font. So the font that I used was called 17, 17 Shine W00. Regular. I did get it off of a free website because I couldn't remember where I got it from the last time. So I got it off a free website. So now you're just going to go ahead and size it. Please ensure that the color that you want um, inside, please make sure that you make it. And please make sure that you make the spacing the size that you want it to be. Now, you don't. You can save it as a small one or you can save it as big. It doesn't matter because we are going to export it and it's going to look like a photo. So once you have this, you're going to go over to where it says share. You're going to click on download, transparent background, and just save the current page that you want. So once you have that and it downloads, it should look like this you're just going to drag it in and it should look like this with no background this is the way that i prefer to do my outlines just because i can do multiple outlines rather than the other way that um, canva had produced with the new canva features so once you have your photo uploaded you're going to go to edit image we're going to go over to shadows and we're going to click on glow once we are on glow we're going to click on c controls we're going to turn the blur down to zero Turn the transparency all the way up to 100 and then we're going to start making our sizes i'm going to make my size about a six a seven i'll make it a seven and then just ensure that your first outline is exactly the size you want because you cannot go ahead and undo it you would basically have to go ahead and upload the image all over again so once you click on apply apply again you should have your first outline and then it's the same exact step. You go back over to Glow, see controls, turn the blur down, turn the transparency up. But this time we're gonna change the color to white. And we're gonna turn the white a little bit bigger than the black. So I'm gonna do it about an eight. I'm gonna click on apply, apply again. So now we're just gonna go ahead and bring this down here. So the next thing that I want to do is to add a drop shadow so it doesn't look so flat onto the page. So go over to edit image, go back over to shadows and click on drop. And I just leave the settings for a drop shadow the exact same. Click on apply, apply again, and it is exactly how I want it to be. Now you just size it up to your liking. So once you have that, and now we're just going to type in the small text that we've seen, which was um, happy 24th birthday to our CEO and what code to use. So you go over to text, you add in your text, and we're just going to type happy 24th birthday 
Here are the, the oh. So now let me move that down so you can see. So now I'm gonna go over to my font and the font. So there's two specific fonts that I like to use when I'm typing in small little text. The first one is Canvas Sans, which is the one that you see here, or I'll use Telegraph Medium, and this is the one that you see here. And I always have them in uppercase, and I space the letters out some. Those are my two favorite go-to fonts when um, typing in like, whether I'm typing in a business name or I'm putting your social media on something. I prefer to use those fonts. They remind me of like a Poppins font. To me, they're just like really simple, but it still gives a little something to it. I mean, it sounded good in my head how I explained it, but you guys are probably like, what? This is just a font. But you know, if you know, you know. So then I have my head to look at the text and I just type in use code. And then we're going to duplicate the text again. Birthday. Duplicate it again. For money off. So now I got that there. Just want to make sure that I lined up everything. Alright, so now that I have that. It's time to add in the finishing element. Um, let me just move this down a little bit so it's not too. So time to add in the finished elements, which are the birthday balloons and the cupcakes that you guys see. So I'm just gonna type in black balloons and I believe I just got the first ones. Um, yeah, I just ended up getting the first ones, and we're just going to tilt it. And I'm just gonna size it down. Oopsie. Size it down and put it right over here. Duplicate it. We're going to tilt it. Oops, I didn't duplicate it. Duplicate it and then tilt it. And I'm gonna add that right there. Now for the cupcakes, we are going to type in, I believe I typed in cupcake. Let's see all. I typed in cupcake and I got me this one but obviously her the theme is black so you're gonna go over to edit image I went over to filters and I just clicked on street and then for the intensity I just put it to where it was like dark as I would want it which I don't think this was the actual cupcake that I used but oh well um it's still a cupcake I'm just going to size it down and add it here, just make it a little bit bigger. Take this, duplicate it, tilt it, and add it here. So then now I'm just going to make the balloons a little bit bigger. And put the cupcake a little bit over more. Then the final thing that I love to add into all of, almost all of my um, designs is I'm going to go ahead and type in torn, I believe I typed in torn paper, yes torn paper and I'm going to always get that second one. That second one right there, it's my favorite one. And then I'm just going to stretch it and then I'm just going to go ahead and add it. Now, I don't want it to be all over the page. I just want it to be somewhere. So, I'm just going to add it probably right here. Then I'm going to duplicate it. And then I'm going to go to flip and flip it this way. Just so that I can add the other piece over there and it looks like this and there you have it all you have to do now is like just move around stuff but this is pretty much it on how i made this birthday flyer that you guys might have seen on my instagram page it's really quick really simple 
um it didn't take me that long but yeah i really hope that you guys enjoyed this little tutorial and please turn on post notifications on your instagram and your youtube channel for more videos that i will be posting my name is Drianna, aka the candle girl and i am so happy that you guys stayed to watch this tutorial and until next time <laughs>